Hello there, here we are at Alec Zamlan with the legend himself, Mr. Loosely, who throws decks of cards at people's faces. I still, I still love him though. Sorry and, we've got, and we've got Mr. Andrew Paul Smith behind the camera. Say, say hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. And uh, Mr. Nardi, if you're watching this in Thailand. Ooh, wacky ha ha ha. Right, um, actually, that's Aboriginal. That's better in Australia. Anyway, that's probably upset a couple of people. Do I care? Anyway, I want to show you guys something today with nothing. Dave, I want to show you something with nothing. Yeah, mm. really, nothing. That's a nothing, yeah? Looks like a deck of cards, but it's actually nothing. Right. But it's not just nothing on this side, it's nothing on that side as well. In fact, in about three minutes' time, when I go outside there to make a phone call, you'll probably say, why did he waste my time with that? It's nothing, you know? Right. But let's put this to the test. First of all, would you uh, randomise that piece of nothing by shuffling it? Yeah. So now you can go in tonight and tell the message you spent your day at work shuffling nothing. Yeah. And we also have a little Sharpie as well. That'll be important in a moment. And I guess that this is about nothing. To make it interesting for the people at home, we better do something. Right. So I'm just going to ask you to make a snap decision. Nothing too complicated. It's Friday. Everybody wants to go away. Just name a number out loud between 10 and 20. Um, 14. 14. But it could have been 12. Could have been 18. Anything is possible. Yeah. yeah. What number? 14. Yeah. 14. Okay. And I'm going to deal down to the 14th card. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, you shuffled these. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Is that the 14th card? Yeah. Have I done anything sneaky yet? No. I've done nothing. In fact, let's turn over this card. See, still nothing. Yeah. In fact, I want you to take this Sharpie, uh -huh. take the cap off, and I want you to write in big block letters nothing across the face of the middle of that card. Try to get it all in, though, Dave. Try to get it all in. Perfect. Smaller as always in and right now it's uh, it's about three minutes past three by my recollection. So write fifteen oh three on there or three oh three in old style, and put your initials next to it as well. So that way, even though we're doing nothing here, we've got this moment in time at fifteen oh three where yeah. Dave did nothing, which, as Peter will probably tell you, is a common occurrence. Bit rude. Anyway, bit rude. <laughs> so now we have. This nothing card signed at 1503 with Mr. Loosely. We're actually going to uh, isolate that card down here. Okay. In fact, we'll turn that piece of nothing down. We'll leave that piece of nothing protruding. We'll even put them there. And we'll give these a shuffle as well, so I want to be as fair as I can be. So now, your signed nothing card occupies a completely different position. Yeah. And remember, you shuffle. You even get to push that piece of nothing in. You even get to square up the deck. You even get to put your hand on top of the deck. Now, most magicians right now would get out a magic wand, a cigarette light, or a flash paper or something. But guess what? I'm going to do nothing. Nothing at all. To the untrained eye, it looks like nothing has happened. Right. Lift up your hand. Because you remember a couple of minutes ago, I actually asked you to make a snap decision and think of a number, a random number, and you yeah. called out 14. 14. I'm going to deal down to 14, that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, that's 5, that's 6, that's 7, that's 8, that's 9, that's 10, that's an education, it's also called 11, that's 12, that's 13, and that's 14. Hold your hand out please, because when you go home tonight, just after 5 o'clock, if the wife asks you, or the wife-to-be asks you what you've done, yeah. all you've got to do is say, nothing. Nothing. Very, very good. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> she wouldn't be surprised if I said that either. That's great.